Hello, this video will give a brief overview of the Virtual Learning Environment, or VLE for short, where you'll access course material and interact with instructors and other students. The university uses a software platform called Learn Ultra. Even if you have used the Blackboard Learn platform before, you may find the newer Ultra version quite different from the one you were used to. Once you're fully registered, you'll likely log into the Learn platform by clicking a link from within your MyEd student portal menu. If you have a smartphone or tablet, you can also download the Blackboard app from your device's app store. Once you're logged in, you'll arrive at a home screen similar to this, with a menu along the left-hand side of the screen and a list of courses that you are enrolled onto in the main panel. The menu links things like the activity stream, where you can see upcoming course-related events and deadlines. You can personalize your Learn account by clicking on your name. There, you are optionally provided a photo, add the pronunciation of your name, your pronouns, or change how Learn notifies you of any updates. The calendar provides you with a view of events and assignment deadlines across all of your courses, and this calendar can be shared into another calendar application, such as Gmail or Outlook. Now let's have a look at one of our courses. I'll access that by going onto the course list, find the course by using the search box or by scrolling down the page and then clicking to enter it. This is how a course will look on a web browser. You can see it is made up of a navigation menu at the top. It will automatically open to the course content area. Take note of the class collaborate link and announcements link. Collaborate is where you'll click to join any scheduled live online teaching activities. Click the Join Session link and you'll see any sessions that are available to enter. And these normally appear around 15 to 30 minutes before the start of a session. Make sure to click on the correct session if multiple are available. Announcements will take you into a list of any messages that have been posted by the course staff. It's a good idea to check here regularly in case you miss any announcements. The main course content is here, and you can see that there are downward pointing icons on the side. This indicates that there are containers or folders for different documents. Click anywhere on the item to open the list of documents, and then click on the individual documents to view them. These documents will use a variety of text, images, videos, quizzes, or other interactive tools to help facilitate your learning. Many courses will provide additional reading material through a tool called Resource List. Clicking the Resource List list link will take you into the Resource List tool where you can access the reading material online. The material in the Resource List should be available in a format that is free for students to access. Engage with instructors and other students using the course discussion boards. Many can be accessed from the course content area but additionally, you can use the course discussion boards using the top menu link. We look forward to seeing your thoughts and comments there. The final thing to show you is the assessment folder. And this folder is where all of your assignment submission information and submission boxes will be located. Some assignments are submitted directly into Learn, but many will go into a system called Turnitin. The Turnitin tool is further explained on the university website. Please have a look at that when you have time. Whether you are submitting using Turnitin or directly into Learn, course instructors will give additional written feedback on your assignments, and you'll want to read over their comments to see what was done well and what could be improved. That's the basic tour of your courses in the VLE. Using course discussions, live learning activities, and the assessment feedback, You'll have many opportunities to interact with teaching staff and other students throughout your time here. Good luck and don't hesitate to get in touch with the program team for any further help.